Mike Desperry, and Danny. Now to country superstar Trisha Yearwood joining us from Nashville. She got a new cookbook called Trisha's Kitchen, and she's joining us for our 12 Days of Christmas Cookies. And you can get the recipe by scanning the QR code on the screen. Trisha, good morning. Always great to see you and always great to cook with you. So I'm excited about the peanut butter and jelly bars, which are inspired by the Peanuts Gang and a Charlie Brown Christmas. So why do you love these so much? Well, first of all, hello, Michael. Good hello. to see you. Um, I, I love these because I am, everybody loves peanut butter and jelly. We're all kids at heart. And also, um, Garth and I actually walked down the aisle to the music from Charlie Brown Christmas. So it's very sentimental for me. It's very Christmas for me. So just kind of tied the love of PBJ with the love for the Peanuts gang. And everybody knows that I love Snoopy. They always give me Snoopy things for Christmas. So um, it's just special to me. And these are easy to make. Yeah. I'm about to show you how to make it. You got your stuff there, I see. I got my stuff here. And, and these cookies, they, they start with a simple dough. The butter and sugar, they're already um, creamed together. So, so what do we do next? Now we add three eggs, and you've, you've creamed your butter and sugar together until yep. it's um, light and fluffy. And then my mother said never add the eggs straight into the bowl, but I'm doing that because I'm just on national television. I no just big did deal. it too, so we're, we're even. Mama can be mad at both of us. <laughs> yes, right. If you get a little shell in there, you'll just have a little crunchy PBJ. <laughs> crunchy peanut butter. Just say it's the peanut butter. So we have <laughs> eggs, and what else do we I'm have? I'm a home cook. I'm not a chef. Eggs and we have, um, we also have vanilla. So you're gonna add in a couple of teaspoons of vanilla. And that's basically what you call the wet ingredients. And then once that all feels, two teaspoons of vanilla okay. extract. And once that's all together, then we will add in the dry ingredients. And what we got, we have all purpose flour, we got some baking soda and some salt. That would go in. Um, but for the magic of television, and also because I don't want to get flour on my Christmas sweater, I'm with um, you. we're going to move on over here and say that we've done this already. <laughs> yes, we've done <laughs> it already. For that and, now, and now the dough is on a, on a sheet pan. And this sheet pan is lined with parchment paper. Uh, and we're going to spread the dough yes. on this. So what are your tips for this? Because I know you have some good ones. Stick a little bit, yeah, take a little bit of the dough and okay. stick it underneath your parchment because that'll help the parchment stay on the on the pan and then oh. spray it with cooking spray and then it'll it'll spread easier if you dollop it on like in about you know just just kind of put it in different areas on the pan that'll kind of help you spread it when it comes time to get it because this is the hardest part for people and for me mm -hmm. is to get it to spread on the pan when it's this thick but I'm gonna show you a really cool trick what you got no dough left behind all right take some plastic wrap and just go over the top of this, and that's gonna help us press it down into the corners of the pan. Ah. Mine's not so gonna be as pretty as yours, though. It's also very therapeutic. It feels really good. Yeah, yours is gonna be well, a lot prettier Well, mine's not gonna be mine. very pretty, and I'm, I'm trying to go fast. So I'm just gonna give you sort of a sample of what it's, so once you, you'll, you'll work on this for a while, and I promise you, if you're just patient, which I am not, you'll get it into all the corners of the pan, and you just keep spreading it out until it's there. And since I know you don't have an hour, Michael, I'm going to show you how, once that's all in the pan, we're going to pretend that's all in the pan. Yep, we're going to pretend And you can sure. take, you can just, you can just pull this plastic off. There we go. And then I love grape jelly. That's my favorite. So I have Me about too. a cup of grape jelly and I've got some smooth peanut butter. And again, we're just going to dollop. Dollop. And just kind of put a little bit of jelly, put a little bit of jelly everywhere, put a little bit of peanut butter everywhere. And this is very much like there's no rule which I love in the kitchen where you make it your own. You can't make a mistake. Yep, you can't make a mistake because it is so yours. We got jelly. That's right. And then we got peanut butter. All right, peanut butter. And again, just take it and just kind of. Dollop it around. Slap it on there. Yep. And then, um, so then you just kind of slap it on. Do you smooth it out? <laughs> yep, take your spoon and just kind of swirl it through okay. and press it in the dough just a little bit. And it's gonna look really weird before you cook it, but I promise you this is gonna turn out great. Well, we have the finished product here, Tricia, and it looks incredible. Yep. I'm gonna take a quick bite before we, we go to commercial it here. here. I gotta, I gotta okay. test what we've been working on. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, the crew is excited because they know what I just got them for Christmas. I got them Tricia's cooking, everybody, her pb and j bars. <laughs> The cookbook is available now, Trisha Southern Kitchen on the Food Network. Trisha, thank you so much.
hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.